Welcome back to Dirty Dan's Garage. Today we have a 1987 Crestline with a 90 horse Johnson on it. It's an aluminum boat. Pretty neat. Picked this one up for 300 bucks. It's been sitting for about a year. Motor is pretty clean. It's got fresh plugs on it though. So the guy's obviously been toying with it. Says it ran a year ago, and it's not seized up. So there's that. Overall, pretty good shape. Someone's painted it. Inside's not awesome, but not terrible. You know, clean up pretty good. 90 Johnson. It's the tree boat. Interesting. <laughs> yep. Overall, pretty clean boat. See if we can get her running here in a minute. Get her hooked up to some water. All right, let's get her in here. I guess I should have parked it back over there, huh? Well, we'll leave it here for now. Alright. <coughs> Oof. Yeah, the boat's from uh, New York. So, should be interesting whether or not this thing actually runs, or if the carbs are just a solid mass of varnish and ethanol. We'll see. Go get us a battery. There she is. All right. Oh, nice. Got our battery. Now we just gotta see if we can't get this thing running. I uh, can't wait. Let's see, this isn't got. This isn't got. You'll see it's got a little bit of fuel in it. Man, came with free gas. Oh man, she even came with some oil. Some Earl. Alright. It's oil injected, huh? That's interesting. Does it have a primer pump on the oil injection? It does. Why does he have a primer pump on the oil injection tank? That's kind of interesting. I guess we'll see. Now, won't we? 90. VO. Yep. All right. Now we got our battery. Got to get ourselves a stool. Dun, 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 dun. This boat's pretty light. Me and my dad were bringing it back, and the guy where we got it from put it on the put it on the trailer like super crooked either that or when he brought it back it was bouncing off the trailer or something I don't know but it was really crooked but me and my dad pretty much picked up the boat and moved it ourselves so it's a pretty light little boat ah, here we go got our stool it's trying to kill ourselves getting in this thing all right oh. okay Ooh, the floors are actually solid surprisingly that's a that's a surprise. All right, now we gotta figure out where the battery goes in a boat. Where would we put a battery in a boat? A good question. I have no clue because I don't work on boats. This is like my first time working on a boat with an outboard, anyways. All right, set the cover there. Help my dad with that formula over there. It's going to be another video there. I'm assuming he's going to be behind here. Oh, I guess if I just use my, my eyeballs, there's some wires coming right here. Great. I'm assuming that was, that was probably red. That's black. Look at, look at that. That's fancy. Ooh, fire extinguisher. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that ready. 
I think it's still good. Let's see, does it have a date code on it? I don't know. Mm. Oh. Oh. It's green. All right, she's good to go then. Oh, we have a key. I didn't even know we had a key. Honestly, we just like pulled up. We're like, yep, we'll take it and left because there's only 300 bucks. Right. Honestly, I'm not sure what this is. And that's the trim there. Okay. Let's see what we got up here. We got trim. We got RPM. OMC. Crestline. We got. Let's see. Oh, I don't know why we're pointing at the floor. We got steering. It's pretty. Oh, free tools. <laughs> Sick. It looks like someone cut this one off. All right. I'm not sure this is even the the right battery. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't have any clamps or nothing. Hmm. Huh. Got an idea. Voila. Magic. Got some uh, adjustable battery clamps. <laughs> battery. Alright, let's see. I don't even know if this battery's got any juices in it. But we will see. No, won't we? There you go. Got our adjustable battery clamps. Oh, we're not close enough yet. Still have you. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Mm. We'll somehow clamp this here. Mm. There we are. We have our battery. Powerful. Alright, well, let's see if our key does anything. Alright, see if our. What do we say if our trim works? Oh. Oh, ho. Oh. Look at that. Sweet. Let's see, are we touching the ground out there? Oh, we're s oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get you guys the shot, but the camera's not agreeing. Look at that. Not even touching the ground. Perfect. Ooh, yeah. All right, let's go get the hose. Okay, there we are. We got our two pieces we need. One hose. Having trouble getting fuel to go to it. For some reason, we're not getting pumpage. So... To figure out how Something to get fuel to, to it. on the check out here. I think it might be stuck. Okay. Dun, da, da, da. All right. Tools. So you're getting fuel out of it now. Seriously, think. Is this still not pumping anything out? Well, this thing, I can hear it moving in there, but. Yeah, this stuff is real nasty in here. Yeah. The gas that's in it is super nasty. So we tried to turn it over to see if it'll turn over? Not yet. I can get in there and try. Yeah. See if she cranks over for us. Ah. Ah. Ready? Yep. Yep. Alright, we got a good starter. Actually, the compression didn't sound half bad just then. Yeah. Sounds like it might have a little gallop in it, though. It's always compression, check it, though. Yep, get the compression test and give it a check. And excuse being mean to us. Need a spark plug wrench too. 
<laughs> what size is it? 13, 16? Yeah, it kind of looks that way. Turn the key off. Alright. So, um, turn the key on. Like, don't. Okay, now push on the key. Push in on it. Hmm? There. Okay. Where's that? Choke. Oh, okay. You can hear it click. Oh, that's cool. So the choke's working? So the choke is working. Interesting. The more you know. Throttle works. Yeah, this thing was up. I'm assuming this is the gear somehow. Uh, that that might be a... No, that's... What is that? Oh, that's a fast idle, I bet. Oh. Yeah. Well, it was up. Yeah, fast idle. So when you oh. start it. Okay, so we have fast idle. Yeah, so when it starts, you can let it warm up a little bit at the dock before you take off. Okay. That way you don't have to... Because this won't let you go into gear, won't let you do the throttle yeah. without pulling it, which will put you into gear. So that allows you to kind of warm the motor up. It's like a choke almost. Yeah. So this allows us to rev her up while... I don't know why you can't just rev it up with that. I don't know. I don't know anything about boots, so... Oh, I hear a chicken. Alright. Your crank is over. Yep. See what we get. Probably don't stand in the front of the spark plugs, get blasted with oil. Ooh, a powerful 90. Okay. Crank it. Okay, That's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Is that the one we were concerned about? Yeah. yeah, the plug looked really nasty on that one. Not sure though. All right. You guys ready? Yep. Oh man, that's 120. So that cylinder is kind of low, yeah. That one cylinder is low. The other one's yeah. about 120, then it may get... come around when we get it running. Yeah, it might come around once it gets actually running some, but. but I'm a little sus it. I'm not sure that incites a rebuild. I might just let her ride. <laughs> Alright, ready? Get money shotted by this. Yeah. Just about 115. Okay. So, looks like we got so that one's a little low. Unless this one, this cylinder down here might match it. We don't know yet. I but thought I was hearing it y'all. Yeah, definitely you could kind of hear it when I was cycling over. Right, let's okay. check it out. Oh, we should be pumping water to it or cranking it like no, this. Like 95. Okay, so, so the lower cylinder is a little lower than the top two. It's kind of odd. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Well, compression seems to be decent. Uh, it should be a runner. 90 and 95 on bottom. Now we just got to figure out how to give some fuel to it. Plus. The bottom carb has a problem and oh. roasted these two. Put out. the plugs in and I'll turn it over and see if we have spark on the four plugs. Okay. This one goes over there. This is almost certainly not gonna do anything, but assuming this is the lower plug here. Yes, that one is. Well, it looks like we had mice in here or something. Yeah, we had, we had mice. turds in there. Oh man, this is gonna be No. Hold on, let me see here. Get a set up over here. Well, there's no way to hold it. Fine, you ready? We got it's, run, it's running up my arm, but okay. it's fine. It's, right, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's just shocking me, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, let's give this one a look. I was like Brandon do them. See if we can get this on camera at all. I doubt it, but I think we could see the last one. Well, you probably just okay. Right, ready? Yep. Oh, I'm leaning towards you. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. Spark on that one. Spark. That's spark. Just got my eardrum. Although our little uh, our Bendix is our being Bendix, somewhere. yeah, is being a turd. And it might just be because I don't know. Yeah. Might need to grease it. I'm not super familiar with how it works. Or something. I don't know. Alright. Alright, touch your tongue to it. Okay, ready? Yep, oh, it's got spark. Okay. Alright, let's it try smells the, like two stroke. the bad plug and see if, where'd it go? 
Where he's found. Oh, it's over here. Let's see if we got anything. You try that plug and swap it out the another one if it doesn't spark. You may have bad coil with it, maybe why that one's all yucky. Yeah. Alright, come all right. on baby, give us come some on. spark. Alright, how about it? We're getting sparking. Okay. Alright, solid. We got spark on all four, so she should be a runner if we can get some fuel into it. Heck yeah. Now we just gotta figure out a good way to get gas into it. We need to run to the store and just get a new... Yeah, gotta get a new... Get a new primer. Get a new... Some more fuel to fill this up. I'm not... Yeah. To smell that gas that's in there. Okay. Because what's coming out of the line is like maple syrup. Let's see. Yeah, but what's in there looks clear. So I don't know how long it's going to sit in that line. It didn't smell too bad. Okay. Mm, yeah, Pass the smells, sniff test. Sm Past the sniff test, doesn't look horrible in there. Alright, so what's in the line is real nasty. So, uh, I mean, it's a little stale, but it's not like it's gonna not run. Yeah. I just don't understand why it's not sucking up fuel. It does go bad. There's a check valve in there. Oh, is there? And since there's so much, because it was so maple syrup like coming yeah. out, yeah, most likely the check valve. I see. Well, okay, new, new fuel hose. And we're leaking a little bit of fuel here. Well, I guess we'll see if this thing runs. I think it's got a lot of water, right? Alright. Ready? Yep. See if she runs. Nope, she's not sounding very interested. Probably turn the fast light on. Maybe not so much. Let's crack it. Fluid. Yep. You get the starting fluid out of the box truck. And then I'm going to be getting fuel to the carburetors. Yes. Yeah, I don't know that we're getting anything to the carbs. What? Yeah. What's that? I don't know. What does it smell like? Water. It's not gasoline. Alright, well then we'll keep forcing it out. I'm sure there's gas in there. I don't think so, yeah. Smell that? Yeah, that's not gas, whatever that is. It smells like gas. Yeah. Can you take the uh oh, yeah, it's probably gotta be engaged, huh? I'm gonna keep pumping it out. It's just displacing some water. Yeah, we're still not. None of this is gasoline. Okay. It's just hard. Alright, well our running thing is not going so good. We figured out the gas tank was full of water. It's down there. Had to drain it. And the oil injection tank was full of water, so we're draining it. And then... So now, we gotta try to get all the water out of the systems, but I guess we'll see. Ah, what a cluster. That was not the move. Yeah, I remember what I thought was fuel coming out of here? That was all water. Got on my finger and I was like, oh, what? So... Okay, so the fuel line's got a bunch of water in it, so I guess we'll have to try purging it. We'll see. Alright, I got my It's Gonna Start Whether It Likes It or Not spray, and it's got probably a bunch of water in it, but we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't bend a rod. Or blow my eyebrows off. <laughs> Water flowing? All right. All right ready? Yep. Oh, well, she's uh, kind of running. Okay. Good. Fire it off again. Oh. Some more. 
pour some more fuel out of it. <laughs> See if I can force some of that water out of it. Yeah. Looks like the water is coming out of the bowls up there. Just trying to get that water out of the system. Ay, ay, ay. This is a mess. Stop, stop. What are you doing? Pumping oil in the back of the boat. Oh, I thought it was hooked to the. No motor. Well, that's why it's not running. You have to plug that. Oh, okay. It's a huge vacuum. Motor. Well, put it down then. I thought you hooked it up. No. Okay. Just... Come on. Go on. Just take the fuel thing off and put it back on. I need to replace all the hoses. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Merry Christmas. Oh, hold on me. All right, you ready? Yep. I'm gonna get my start and spray. Okay. And try not to blow my eyebrows off with it. Yeah, the carbs are gonna be taken off and the fuel lines are all gonna need to be cleaned yeah, out. Yeah, we got water. Okay, let's give her a shot. Alright. Start baby. <laughs>
Oh, she's running. No, I think it's the air vent. Well, I stick my thumb over it, it shuts the motor off. It's not gas. Oh, it's not gas? No. Oh. All right, well, she seems to want to run, but she's going to need some carb work for sure. She's a bit toasty, too. Yeah, it's pretty hot. I was just saying it was boiling coming out of the... Yeah, that's too hot. It's just running lean. The... All right. So as you guys saw, we finally got the motor running. We were running into an overheating issue. It was pissing water out of the telltale, but uh, the thermostat wasn't opening, so the telltale pretty much... Like, it made us believe that it was you know, you know flowing water it's fine but uh you know the thing was like starting to rev itself way up and we're like what the heck's wrong with it and then we realized it's overheating because the thermostats right here weren't open so we took a screwdriver and wiggled them loose and they finally opened up so don't always just believe in your telltale because it almost led this poor motor to being melted but she survived and now she runs and idles fine so then we'll just have to do a test i might have a little bit of rod knock not sure can't really tell too much but yeah it seems to actually run good though it fires up like right away but yeah just do not trust the telltale only on these i guess because they have a thermostat which uh, i don't new to me but well not new to me but i didn't think outboard motors had it but yeah so seems to be a pretty good running little motor now i mean the carbs still need help but it idles on its own there's that all right well, like, next video will definitely be either running the boat in the water or carb rebuild. One of those two. Oh, and a fuel pump replacement because the guy before us cracked this right here. So it, like, just kind of pukes fuel everywhere. Nice. Yeah. Got all the water and everything out of the fuel tanks and the water tank and seems to be running pretty good. All right. We will see you in the next one.